Here we're going to tie a still water nymph. The first thing we're going to do is start our thread. Just lay down a quick base. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in our tail. What I'm using here are just some mini marabou puffs here. And you want the puff to be about the length of the shank of the hook, maybe a little bit less. And you got to be very careful on this fly not to make the tail too bushy or too long. The tail is actually meant to be very slim, so what I did was I just stripped off part of the stem here, or part of the plumage on this feather. We're going to tie this on right on top of the hook, just like so. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie in another feather by the tips. Just like so. I'm going to try to tie that right on top of the shank of the hook. There we go. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie in a piece of wire, copper wire. Tie that all the way to the back, making sure it's on there nice and tight. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to dub the body. The dubbing I like to use for my still water nymphs is a rust kind of colored olive or a uh, orange, orange over olive. It's just the color that I've had the most success with. We dub a nice slim body. It doesn't need to be bulky or thick. It's more of an underbody. This is one of my favorite nymphs for fishing still water. This is probably the most labor intensive part of this fly is laying down this dubbing. We're going to do this all the way to the front of the fly, to the eye. There we go. Now once we've gotten to the front, it's time to lay down the legs, which is just hackle. You can use brown hackle, an orange colored hackle, an olive colored hackle. Just depends on the color variation that you're you're tying. Here I'm going to tie in some like a brown variant, brown grizzly. You're just going to take this hackle and wrap it down the hook. Grab some hackle pliers here. Now, once you get to the back, you're going to take your wire, you're going to capture the stem there of the hackle. We're going to counter wrap this wire through all that hackle. 
This helps lock it down. Also adds a little bit of weight to the fly. And once I get to the front, I'm just going to peel back the hackle as much as I can. Get in there and capture that chunk of wire. Break off that wire. Now the next step is to cut out that extra piece of stem. I like to give the top of the fly a bit of a haircut. <clears throat> That'll give us a spot for us to pull our marabou over. I simply just pull back some of the fibers, the stray ones. And I capture the front of that marabou. And you could trim out the excess. Clean up the head here. Sometimes you have a stray piece of marabou, I just pluck them out of there. There we go. Then you can whip finish. Trim out any stray hackle. There we go. <clears throat> that is the Stillwater Nymph. Great lake fly for trout, even carp, believe it or not. That's all there is to it.